Hi everybody. So welcome to a history lesson. We are going to be looking at the clock of eras. Now, do you remember back when, you know, the beginning of the school year, you had a lesson called the black strip. And do you remember how long the black strip was? It was so long. Remember, it went all the way across the soccer field. And then at the very end of it, what was there? Well, there was a little red strip and that showed how long humans have been around compared to the beginning of the universe. So the black strip is kind of like mother nature with no hands combined with the timeline of life. And this chart just shows us another way of looking at that stretch of time. So this chart requires us to use a little bit of our imagination. So here we call this a clock of eras because we have taken all of Earth's existence and we have squeezed it down into an amount of time that we are able to understand because we as humans really can't comprehend how long the Earth has been around since its conception. So we wanted to take that amount of time and put it into something that we can understand. So we shrank it down and we're pretending and we're using our imaginations today to pretend that from the beginning of the earth all the way to today was only 12 hours. I want you to imagine you might be if you wake up at seven o'clock and you go to bed at seven o'clock. That's kind of like the whole day you're awake. We've taken the amount of time the earth has been around ever at all in its entirety and we've shrank it down into just those 12 hours so we can imagine how long each part of the earth's formation and life's formation took. So do you remember at the very beginning of the earth it was just that ball of fire right and it was so hot everything was kind of in a gaseous state and we saw the fairy dancers on the charts going up and down because when they would get hot they would get up, they get away from the Earth's surface, and then they would get up and away, and then they get cold closer to space, they come back down, and then they get too hot, and they go back up and down and back and down, and everything was cooling and settling. And at the end of that, eventually, do you remember what happened when the center or the outside of the Earth got cooler and kind of like wrinkled up? It was kind of like, you know, a wrinkly apple, or if you think about um, kind of like the weird surface of pudding sometimes when you make it well what happened is all the volcanoes started exploding and it did that for a while and then it started to actually rain and it was cool enough that the rain could stay on the on the surface of the planet well this black area here formation of the crust this is when all the volcanoes were happening and things getting hot and going up and going, you know, cooled and going back down and everything was settling and cooling. That's this black part of our clock. And that lasted from 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. So that was four hours of our 12 hour day. So if you imagine, you know, seven o'clock, you get up, you eat breakfast, you're playing, maybe you start to have a snack and four hours into it, you're getting ready to maybe have, you know, start thinking about lunch. So this is a big part of our morning. This is our morning work period and lunch and part of recess for us when we're at school. So imagine that amount of time, that's how long, within that whole 12 hours, that's how long it took for the Earth's crust to form. Then here in this yellow part, well, this is a big part, isn't it? This is where you know, the water settled on the Earth. And do you remember the beginning of the timeline or the, the beginning of the coming of life and looking at the timeline of life, we had little single-celled organisms that started eating up all the salts and minerals in the water, which was allowing for more life to develop since they were kind of cleaning that water. And that was in the archaic era, right around here, starting at four o'clock. And so, you know, those jelly forms came to be, and this lasted for a long, long time. Look, it's like half of the Earth's existence was this era of just these single-celled organisms and jelly eating up all of that. And archaic means very, very old, okay? So it goes all the way from four o'clock to five, to six, to seven, to eight, to nine, to 10. That's six hours of our day. Okay, so half of your day 
was the jelly times, as I fondly call them. Then, as time does, it, it goes on and we reach here, the Paleozoic era. And this is mostly when our timeline of life starts, is right here. So our timeline of life really only covers this little bit. So let's see, we've, let's compare the formation of the crust in the Archaic era. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten hours of our 12 hour day. So the rest of life, if we imagine that it only took 12 hours for all this to happen, the rest of all life as we know it, except for these single celled organisms inside the archaic era, it only took two hours, right? So this happened pretty quick compared to all of this here. So we look at the Paleozoic era. Okay, and do you remember what happened in the Paleozoic era? What life kind of looked like? We saw many interesting animals and life forms during this time on our timeline of life. Do you remember the trilobites and the, all of the weird sea creatures, the fish with plates? Well, this era is called the Paleozoic era. And there's a story in this word. Paleo means old. So paleo means old and zoic means life. So this literally means old life. This is the old time of life. So the animals and plants that lived during this time all lived in the water. Well, we're not finished yet, are we? We still have this orange area. This orange area is called the Mesozoic area. Paleozoic era lasted from 10 o'clock to 11:12, so one hour and 12 minutes of our 12 hour day. So this is the third longest, isn't it? Archaic era, formation of crust, and then Paleozoic era. Well, the Mesozoic era, the orange era starts at 11:12, and it goes until 11:43 and 11 seconds. So that is only 31 minutes and 49 seconds is how long this lasted. This didn't even last an hour, did it? So the Mesozoic era, there's a story in this word too. So meso means middle and zoic in this word refers to animals. So you can think of it as the time of middle animal life. So this was the time that the reptiles and amphibians lived as well as the dinosaurs. That is the Mesozoic era. Then we get towards when we know mammals first appeared, which is this gray sliver, which is called the Cenozoic era. Ceno means recent. So, and then zoic again is referring to animals. So we can think of this section of time as, as recent animal life. So we know that the Cenozoic era is when all the really big mammals live, like the woolly mammoths and the saber-toothed tigers. And those two kinds of animals did die out, didn't they? So the Cenozoic era was from 1143 and 11 seconds to 1159 and 45 seconds, 45 and a half seconds. So the Cenozoic era only lasted for 16 minutes and 34 and a half seconds, okay? I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm gonna bring the camera up to the chart. I'm gonna try to go nice and carefully. Okay, do you see that little red sliver? Teeny tiny red sliver. Well, it started at 11.59 and 45 and a half seconds. So this red sliver is the same thing as our red strip at the end of the black strip. So this little era called, as the, Neo, called the Neozoic era. The Neozoic era, which is the era we're in now, is only 14 and a half seconds long. That's it. The Neozoic era word. Neo means new, so this means new life. This is our current life. This is humans. So humans have only compared to the whole existence of the earth from its conception all the way to now. If we broke that into 12 hours, we would have only been around for 14 and a half seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to count 14 seconds. We can do it together. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi, 14 Mississippi and a half. That's it. You imagine 
That's how long humans have been on this earth compared to the rest of all the earth's existence. It is a very short amount of time, isn't it? It is. It's really not a long time. So look again at all of this work that was done to prepare the earth's surface for us to be able to live here. Can you imagine if we showed up here with the dinosaurs that might not have gone out so well for us? Or if we came here and every all life was in the ocean, that wouldn't work out for us. We came here, oh Lord, we came here, crazy volcanoes. It just wouldn't have worked. So that's the clock of eras, the purpose of it, to show us how long the earth has been around since its conception and for us to think about how long we have been around compared to that. And it hasn't been that long, has it? Not at all. You can pause the video and take a look at it if you would like. Some follow-up work uh, can definitely be drawing your own chart. It can also be maybe picking a couple different eras and really looking into them to learn more about what exactly happened. I know we have those books at school that some of you really liked to look at. I know that the Mesozoic era was a very exciting book. So I encourage you to dive deeper into this and see if you can find any other interesting information about some of these different eras. And these eras are broken up too, even further. You know, they can be, maybe you wanna make a clock of just the Paleozoic era or a clock of just the Mesozoic era and you can compare how long all the different times that that's broken into took. Another follow-up work that some people have done is they try to make this out of food. Again, we really like food, right? So you can make a pizza as best as you can to try to incorporate all these eras. You can make a cake and decorate it this way. Uh, you know, I bet your parents would love it if you made a cake last time, if you make another cake. You know, just cake everywhere when we're all staying at home and all we wanna do is eat the cake. So yeah, that's the end of our lesson. If you have any questions, let me know.